Tony Swanson, president of Swanson Health Products. I'm here today with Dr. Barbara Hendel, author of the best-selling book, Water and Salt, The Essence of Life and the Heating Power of Nature. Barbara, in an earlier interview with you, we discussed the uh, role that sugar plays in dragging down people's health. And you have mentioned that insulin is a primary factor as to why people become fat. Why is that? Um, because insulin um, um, stops um, burning fat. Uh, the, the fat cells are closed and, uh, and the fat acid can, can't uh, come out and, and can't burn. So uh, the, the weight will increase and increase and then you get um, uh, diabetes Diabetes, yeah. diabetes, and and uh, and high um, high tension, and all these these uh, diseases, um, they come out from bad food. Yeah. Now the problem is a person who eats a high sugar diet, uh, they eat a candy bar or uh, 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 drink a bottle of soda pop, and their blood sugar goes up, and their pancreas produces insulin. Correct. Yeah. And um, the insulin uh, produced by the pancreas actually helps to make us fat. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a, it's an important hormone, this insulin. Uh, but if it's too high, uh, uh, it's bad for your body, be because you you can't burn fat then, because they they uh, they close uh, these uh, fat cells. The the weight will increase and increase, and uh, uh, you can't burn your fat. So uh, the the main uh, the main point uh, that uh, that you that your weight will increase is not that you eat too much fat. This can't be another point. But the main reason is um, that that you eat too much sugar. Too much yeah. sugar. Yeah. Is, is and a when when you eat wheat, you have to eat whole grain wheat uh, because uh, the insulin is not so high uh, when uh, if when you eat uh, this. Uh, um, this um, white wheat, you know what? White I, bread. The white bread, yeah, yeah, because this is on high, uh, high uh, uh, insulin. Then when you eat that, or when you eat uh, eat sugar, if if you will eat fruits, they are sweet too. Yeah, the insulin wouldn't increase like that. So you you can eat sweet, but you have to eat the right things. Yeah, as nature as possible. Right. Now, when, when people come into your practice in uh, Munich, Germany, the first thing that you do is you survey them as to what, what type of foods that, that they're eating, and you try to change their diet to a, a more natural way of eating whole foods, fruits and vegetables. But you also focus on what type of salt they, they have in their diet. And you recommend a particular type of salt from, from the Himalayan mountains. The salt that people get in their salt shaker, as we talked earlier, is simply not not good. But what is it about your Himalayan salt that is that is healthy? Um, yes, the uh, the Himalayan salt is an is a natural salt, and um, it's a salt. It's uh, it's unique, so pure that you um, have not to refine it. Um, when when you have salt, perhaps from from Germany. Um, the salt mines have about 35% salt, and the other uh, material, the other substances are clay and stones and everything else. So, so you have to put in water and um, and dissolve this salt, and then you have you have uh, evaporate the water, uh, and then it it's uh, the uh, the salt will remain. But in in the Himalayan region. Um, this salt is so pure, you have about 98% um, uh, salt, and the, the, other, the other substances are um, this... Um, natural minerals. Natural, yeah, na natural minerals. And you can eat it like that, because there is a law that a salt has, ha has to have 97% salt, sodium chloride. And uh, this salt is so pure that you can eat it like uh, like the earth presents you, and uh, uh, it has a so, such a high structure, um, 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 geometrical structure, uh, that that uh, that it has good vibrations too. Because this in this salt, 
there is all in your body need. Uh, there are all minerals um, your, body, uh, your body has in, and just in a concentration your body has in, uh, in it because our, our body is a 1% solution or 1%. it contains, our, yes, um, uh, all fluids in our body are a 1% solution. Our tears, our blood uh, and even the fluid in the womb where, where the babies increase uh, this is a 1% solution, but not only sodium chloride, but all other uh, elements, all other substances that are in it. Um, it's that about 84 uh, uh, per uh, uh, different substances. Yes. Yeah. And in a, in a combination, um, like in our body, uh, it's really like a part of our body, mm -hmm. and therefore it's so healthy for our body. As I mentioned earlier, we've always believed, at least I have, in that, that salt is not good for us. But it, it stands to reason that if life came from, came from the oceans originally, from, from the salt water, that we, that we need salt in, in our lives and in our diet to be healthy. But the important thing is that we're taking the right type of salt. Yes, um, uh, all, all life comes from the ocean. And um, in the earlier time, million of years ago, um, there was the first cell, it was created from water, from salt, and from the sunlight. Yeah, this was, was a bacterium or something like that, but this was the beginning of the life. And when, when um, um, scientists um, are looking for other planets to live, they, they, they are always searching about water yeah, and salt. What's well, interesting that, uh, again, Barbara's book is entitled Water and Salt, The Essence of Life and the Healing Power of Nature. And the basis of the book is the importance of pure salt, the right type of salt from the Himalayans in a pure water. And I've been on the program for about six months now. I must say, Barbara, it's, it's, it's a phenomenal program. And we look forward to discussing the specifics of the uh, program and future videos with you. Thank you for joining me today.